Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Rheinmetall AG stands as a prominent German technology conglomerate, with its central offices located in the city of Dusseldorf. The firm's origins trace back to the twilight years of the 19th century, when it operated under the name Rheinische Metal and Machine Factory Corporation. Through the decades, Rheinmetall gradually evolved, shifting from its initial focus on industrial machinery to expand into multiple domains Among its many accomplishments, the firm is credited with the design and production of several renowned military vehicles, such as the Leopard II main battle tank, the Boxer Armored Fighting Vehicle, and the Martyr Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Operating on a global scale, Rheinmetall caters to a diverse clientele across both civilian and military sectors. Though the German army continues to be one of its most significant customers. In recent years, defense organizations around the world have become increasingly aware of the threats posed by drones. Also known as unmanned aerial vehicles, Drones are remotely controlled or autonomous aircraft ranging in size from massive planes to near invisible handheld devices. Nonetheless, even the smallest drones can infiltrate friendly airspace to collect intelligence or even perform precision strikes. We often see that on TVs where uh, you got a prime minister or an important person doing a speech and you see a small drone flying around. So you don't know if it's a really a threat or it's just someone who wants to take a picture, but uh, you always have to assume it could be a threat. The threats that uh, the military are facing is uh, either the drone is dropping an explosive or they're using the drones for a surveillance system. So you want to detect them before they actually see you. To defend against drone attacks, Rheinmetall developed its Skynex truck. This state-of-the-art vehicle is highly mobile, with advanced features throughout. But it is really just a platform for the SkyShield anti-aircraft system. This consists of a 35mm revolver cannon with a 1,000 round per minute rate of fire. Equipped with powerful sensors and built-in radar systems, this gun can quickly dispatch an entire wave of small surveillance drones in under a second. The SkyShield system can be positioned at various defense points, but it provides better protection when mobile. And while the Skynex truck helps move the cannon from location to location, Rheinmetall decided to create an even more versatile version of the weapon, the Ski Ranger 35. This all-terrain armored vehicle is fast and able to navigate complex landscapes with ease. Its eight wheels help it move over obstacles quickly and efficiently. While the automated cannon uses state-of-the-art search and tracking sensors to engage targets on the ground and in the air. With its 4,000 meter range and 360 degree firing ability, the cannon is a highly effective weapon against all sorts of different threats, especially drones.
Rheinmetall AG's rich history allows it to design and manufacture a wide range of products, including munitions. In fact, the German company is a world leader in the field of artillery, mortar, and infantry systems. In 2021, the company even managed to set three new world records for long-range artillery firing. Well done. A G6 howitzer with a 52 caliber gun fired, a conventionally 155 millimeter round more than 47 miles, the longest shot ever achieved with this combination. The munitions are developed across several sites using state-of-the-art production and design methods. The result is some of the world's most powerful and capable artillery. Another European company that has earned a reputation for producing high-quality defense products is Zakwadi Mechanic Natarnov more commonly known as ZMT. This Polish defense company has specialized in designing, developing, and producing military equipment and systems since 1917. Among its many products are artillery systems, rocket launchers, mortars, and ammunition. ZMT puts a lot of focus on research and development, continuously working on improving its outcomes and developing new technologies. Like Rheinmetall, ZMT has invested significant time and money in developing counter UAV systems. The resulting weapon is known as the PSRA Pilica surface to air system. The Pilica is designed to provide air defense capabilities to protect military units and strategic assets from low to medium altitude aerial threats like UAVs and cruise missiles. The guns incorporate advanced radar technology for detecting, identifying, and tracking targets. which can then engage with various guns and missiles, depending on the nature of the threat. Its Grom missile has a range of up to 5,000 meters and uses explosive fragmentation to destroy enemy targets. One of the most interesting vehicles in the history of warfare is the Kyler Mine Flail. Built on the M48 Patton Medium Tank Hull, this vehicle was developed by Rheinmetall to meet the mine clearing requirements of the German Army. The developers removed the turret of the M48 and installed a rotor-powered mine flail. It is a rapidly rotating cylinder mounted between two arms in front of the vehicle, consisting of two shafts with 24 chains terminating in large metal feet. Compared with other mine flails, the spinning cylinder of the Kyler swings the chains around bringing the feet into contact with the ground, simulating the force exerted by a person or vehicle passing over the ground. During mine clearing, some 98 to 100% of mines are destroyed, detonated, or thrown out. When the flail strikes the ground above a buried mine, the impact causes the mine to detonate safely. With the Western world back to conventional military confrontation, the necessity to open breaches into enemy layered defenses is back. 
And to do so, Rheinmetall has designed the next generation of its armored breaching vehicle known as the Kyler NG. Based on the Leopard 2 chassis, the Kyler NG is 13.5 meters long, 5.63 meters wide, and has a maximum mass of 63 tons. At the front side, Kaler NG is equipped with a Pearson mine plow, which can clear mines at a speed of up to 250 meters per minute. It is also equipped with the Plofatter rocket assisted mine clearing system, which can breach up to 160 meters long and 9 meters wide minefields and obstacles in minutes. Additionally, its state-of-the-art lane marking system marks the paths for following forces, even in low visibility or at night. Another innovative technology the German army uses to detonate mines is the mine clearing ladder. The entire system is stored in two boxes. These boxes are extremely heavy requiring agility and strength to carry them to the minefield. Four soldiers each carry the two boxes, join them together at the designated area, and prepare for launch. The mine clearing ladder looks like a rope ladder. However, the rungs of the ladder are filled with explosives The net explosive quantity of a mine clearing ladder is almost 80 kilos. The soldiers detonate the explosives and immediately run towards the armored vehicle. Right after the launching sequence, the mine clearing ladder is deployed and within 30 seconds detonates on the field, clearing the area for the German army. The United States military uses the M1150 assault breacher vehicle, ABV, to clear enemy minefields. Based on the M1 Abrams chassis, the U.S. military's ABV is equipped with a mine plow and charges. These tracked combat vehicles were specifically designed to clear pathways for troops and other vehicles through minefields. It has a short arsenal, with only a .50 caliber machine gun and a front-mounted 15-foot wide plow, supported by metallic skis that glide on the dirt and armed with nearly 7,000 pounds of explosives. The ABVs are equipped with a Linear Demolition Charge System, LDCS, which includes rockets carrying C4 explosives and detonates hidden explosives at a safe distance so that the troops and vehicles can pass through safely. The United States military has various other ways to clear a minefield, such as using a Mine Clearing Line Charge MCLIC. It comprises 1,700 pounds of C4 and a rocket that fires C4 in a linear charge about 100 meters long to blow up mines. In June 2023, the U.S. military personnel conducted a mounted breach by deploying the MCLIC into an identified minefield. By successfully destroying mines already deployed on the minefield, the U.S. military personnel were able to exhibit combat readiness and tactical proficiency. Mine clearing and mine sweeping technologies are vital for ensuring safe and efficient military operations. From counter UAV systems to armored breachers and specialized land-based equipment, 
These advanced tools play a crucial role in maintaining operational effectiveness and safeguarding personnel on the battlefield. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.